Ray, thanks. There are some new details this evening about the financial trouble for the Turnpike Commission. It is now $11 billion in debt and facing a major lawsuit. Money editor John Delano takes a closer look at what it means for local transit. Tolls on the Pennsylvania Turnpike have gone up every year since 2009. So why is the Turnpike failing to make its quarterly payment of an annual $450 million amount to PennDOT? Three payments have not been made so far. The fourth payment is due in April and may not be able to be made. That money is dedicated to public transit. And PennDOT Secretary Leslie Richards told the State House Appropriations Committee that transit agencies, like the Port Authority that gets $75 million from the Turnpike each year, need that funding. Those transit agencies are right on the cusp of just having enough for operating. Those transit agencies specifically in those areas will have to make some difficult decisions. Local lawmakers on the House Appropriations Committee share those concerns. I think it's important that, you know, <clears throat> we make sure that these funds are, are continuing to flow to the agencies who need them. So it's a very serious concern. The problem, it turns out, is a federal lawsuit filed last year against the Turnpike by the Owner-Operator Independent Drivers Association and the National Motorists Association. They say tolls from drivers and truckers should only be used for turnpike improvements, not public transit. So the turnpike is holding up payment. But lawmakers say this funding for local transit is essential. It's not just a luxury for folks in my district. It's truly a lifeline. People depend on it not just to get to work, but to get to doctor's appointments uh, and to go about their daily lives. Interestingly, the turnpike's $450 million obligation drops to $50 million in 2022 with the $450 million then coming from the state's vehicle sales tax. But in the meantime, the pending lawsuit is holding things up. It's terrible that we're even put in this situation to begin with, but uh, until this lawsuit's uh, finalized, there's not a whole lot that we can do other than just wait and see. No word on when the judge will decide. John Delano, KDKA News.